What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome to Space Engineers episode number 21. Uh, I've done a lot of stuff between the last episode and this episode and I want to show you that, but the first thing I want to show you is this. Look at that, they've changed the flashlight a little bit. In fact, you can see that there are two lights now instead of one. There's a light on the left and a light on the right, providing a more equal distribution of light, which I really like because the, the, the prior light seemed like it there was just a big bright light in one point in the middle. I guess this is something that they did with the last update. I know they just did a, a huge overhaul of all the multiplayer stuff in Space Engineers, but I did not realize that they had actually done anything with the lights, but I'm I'm pleasantly surprised. <laughs> so I did a lot of stuff. Actually, you can kind of see some stuff over there. I'll show you guys that in a second. But I, I did a lot of stuff last in between the, the two episodes, in between last episode and this episode. Uh, more, it, It's mostly just stuff that I didn't really want to show because it would take a while, uh, but a lot of it is just like, uh, welding things into place. So let's let's hop outside and I'll show you a little bit of what I did Well, okay, first of all, I actually filled in these windows here so that you can't go out this way anymore um, In fact, I'll show you the oh, here's one change as well. I made a little skylight here This is as per uh, one of the recommendations in one of our live streams Someone recommended putting a, a cool little skylight here. I wasn't really sure how they wanted it to be done so I just kind of went with a, a standard skylight thing. Now it does kind of block the the uh, the entrance over there a little bit, so the ships are going to have to maneuver around it. But I don't think it'll be a problem, um, especially in space where ships can maneuver pretty easily. So let's not go out this way. We have a new we have a new exit. I, I put some blocks on the bottom here so it looks cooler. Uh, but we have a new exit of the ship, and this is also another thing that I wanted to add uh, because I figured that we would need it. So here right right here is a what's this called a airtight hangar door so this is going to be the exit and the entrance to the ship there's going to be a button right here that will open the door suddenly you're down here this will all be painted as well it's just kind of uh, this is maintenance color right here uh, you're gonna go down you're gonna have a secondary exit airlock exit here uh, and then you're gonna have your your secondary airtight hangar door and once you hit that then boom you're out of the ship you're good to go because I was thinking you can't just you can't just expect people to fly up to your ship right you got to have an actual entrance and exit. So that that is that right there and I think it looks pretty cool. It's not too um, obtrusive, I guess. It doesn't take up that much space. And we can kind of blend it in with everything else, I think, if we do a little bit of work on the bottom. Which we do plan on doing eventually. Uh, well, what else did I do? I think I did the hood as well. The hood to the thing. Yeah, so as per the drawing, or not the drawing, but the picture that Swordcorn gave me uh, last episode, I think, we did this. And I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, obviously, it's going to be painted red again eventually. But, uh, but, but yeah, it's, it, it looks way less profile now that it's actually blended in. And I actually had to use some of those mod pieces that I had. Uh, these ones right here. Right there, yeah. So some of these longer mod pieces that I had, which are part of the one of the mods that I got. Um, so that's all I did on the ship. Not too, too much, but a, a little bit. A little bit of stuff. Um, second thing, we worked on the hangar quite a bit. <laughs> we worked on a little bit of the hangar. So the top part of the hangar has not been worked on yet because it needs these pieces that are hard to get. It's these ones right here. These um, heavy armor blocks. And the reason it needs those is because we have hydrogen thrusters on the big ship. And we do not want to destroy the the ground using the hydrogen thrusters. But, uh, but yeah, so the big ship is going to go on top. But what we've been working on is the bottom here. The first thing that we've done is we added a little hangar for a potential rover. So this will be a rover creation area. And then once the rover is created, it would drive out this way. It would drive on this kind of big path right here. It's, it's a big road, kind of. And then it will drive out this way. And it's got its exit points right here that it could drive off of. So it, And it covers up. There's, there's like a little hole under here somewhere covers that up pretty nicely but yeah so that's that's how we plan to do the rover hangar it's kind of like a uh, a template if you will for the rest of the thing so you can imagine we have another hangar right over there um, we could have another well I plan for this middle part to be road as well so it'll be a road going back uh, but then we have hangars along the side as well so that that's kind of how we plan to have this thing right here so we could have little ships kind of stored in here for when we need them um, so so yeah if you thought nothing was coming of this gigantic uh, hangar thing. Something is coming of it. It'll eventually be done. Did I do anything else? Let me go and check the base and see if we did anything else over here. I don't think we did. Um, I did a little bit of, I mean, I, I got a lot of iron. <laughs> there are a lot of mining expeditions that I went on, but that's pretty much it. So this episode, what I want to do is I want to fix up the, first and foremost, I want to fix up the, uh, the main reactor inside that over there. We need a couple of materials still, but I think we have them all. Let's, let's just pop over here. I think we, we need, 
I know we need 40 metal grids. That's one thing that I remember. So let's put these back. We don't need these quite yet. Uh, and if we go... What? Are you not... Are you not hooked up? Buddy. Buddy, why are you not... Why are you not allowing me to go into anything else? Let me go and see what's the problem here. Do we have power? We do have power. What is happening? If I go into this one, same problem? Same problem. Okay, uh, this is probably, I would imagine, they just came out with an update, so I would imagine this is a glitch where all of our things have become technically disconnected. So what we're going to do is we're going to break these and we're going to fix them again and see if that solves the problem. And hey, that's a little bit of troubleshooting for you guys. If it does solve the problem, you'll, you'll also be able to solve it with ease. So here we go, there's one. Uh, we'll do one from... I don't want to do that one, that'll break everything. But if we do this one right here, yeah, that could work. Uh, put this one right here. So I finally got a hang of the uh, of, of the insert, delete, home, and page up and page down as the turning system. So <laughs> it's it, I'm getting there. No, you're not. You're still not connecting. Okay. If I press K, can I hop in here? Show HUD. Uh, that's not what I want. I'm looking for. Nope. There's nothing here that says use conveyors. What am I missing? Okay, here, let's let's try something simple. You guys should at least be connected to each other, right? So let's break you. We'll break you, and we'll break you. And let's pop into here and uh, remake those. And if that works, we might have to completely remake the entire system, which would suck. But, I mean, this happens sometimes. All right, uh, last piece right here. Let's pop it in. We need a giant one. And are you guys connected? You guys are not connected. I don't understand. What is what is going on here? Are <laughs> have conveyors changed? I do not know. Oh. Oh. Okay. There's a button up here that I did not see that has become checked apparently by accident. Uh, the button says show inventory of interacted item, or show connected inventory. So that's that's what we want connected inventories. <laughs> Whoops! Did not realize that button was a thing. So let's let's hop into here and we'll search for what do we need? What was that? I've, I've forgotten it. Oh, metal grids. Metal. We need forty of these. So let's pop in here and grab forty. I don't know what happened here. What a scrap metal. Uh, yeah, we'll grab forty of those. Then we need a bunch of these things. We need all the semiconductor things. Um, and then we need roughly all of these as well. I don't think that's enough, but we'll come back and grab some more. So that should make this a little bit more. And we're not going to use our entrance. We're going we're to use the easy entrance. I find that while you're making a ship, it's good to have like a little easy entrance that you can use just so you can get back and forth uh, fairly easily. We need, okay, just about 100 more reactor components plus 40 large steel tubes plus motors and computers. Okay. Okay. Can I remember all that? That's the question. Can I remember everything that I've just said? We'll find out. We found out. Yes, we did. Any of you guys play Fallout? Or know that song by default? <laughs> oh, so do I have to hit this on everything? I guess, yeah, I guess with the new update, it just kind of sorted to that or defaulted to that or something. So I know we need 75 of these, if I remember correctly. Uh, then we need motors, which we didn't need very many. Wasn't that like 30? We need uh, about 100 of these. Actually, 78, if I remember correctly. And finally, what's the last thing we need? 40 of these. There we go. Uh, let's bring a little bit of uranium just so we can charge some batteries while we're at it. Uh, by the way, a lot of you guys were saying that we... Is it always going to... Hang on. Yo. Am I always going to have to hit this? Why? Why? <laughs> is there like a default thing? That's annoying. I don't want to... Oh, I can hit it on this one too. I don't want to always have to hit this button to be able to get into all my stuff. That's That's annoying. Uranium. Uranium. Do we have any? Yes, we do. Let's grab uh, five. So a lot of you guys have been saying that we need more batteries on the ship. And that could be true. But we, when we last took off and tested our batteries, I'm not sure if they were all full. Because remember, we did run out of power at some point. So they might not have all been full. All right, there is our sexy nuclear reactor. Let's uh, put, it, put some stuff in here. Let's put the uranium in. And let's see if it... Oh my god, it eats it so fast. 
But it's charging the batteries, so the batteries are all... Let's see how fast they're charging. I don't know how fast they go. Someone told me in the comments that this actually... That reactor is 30 times better than the reactor before it. So that's that's uh, pretty interesting, <laughs> I think. So you are eating uranium for breakfast here. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to use up that uranium pretty fast. But at least our batteries will be a little bit charged. I think we're going to need more uranium eventually, but we should be... We should be fine. What is the next thing that we want to do? Oh, you know what? I want to grab... I want to hook this up to our system. One of you also commented that we need a lot more of these. A lot more hydrogen tanks. And I'm kind of worried about that because I don't know where we're going to put them. Um, I mean, if I'm honest, we could stick them along the sides here. Like one, two. And then one, two, maybe. But a lot of hydrogen tanks, that's going to be hard to fit. Won't it? Let's try that. Let's, let's even up some space here. Oh, let's fill up some space. And we'll see what we can do about some hydrogen tanks. Because if, if we are going to need a lot of them, which we might, I don't know. It, yeah, okay. Let's, 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 just, let's just do it and see how it works. Uh, did, was that the wrong one? Okay, we don't want to break this one right here. Let's change the color just so that we're working all in the same color. So leave one space then, and then, and that's not the same color, but whatever. We'll paint the entire ship once we're done uh, using control shift paint. That, that'll paint the entire ship, all surfaces, and then we'll just go in and paint what we want to. Uh, so anything that we don't want to be red, we'll paint it not red. <laughs> so there we can stick one thing, I guess. And actually, we'll stick it right here just so that we have the room there. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. So let's break this stuff. Kind of sad, because I did like the idea of having this cool little uh, walkway, but whatever. It'll all be good. Break, 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 senora. Break it all the time. Welt, 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 senora. Da, 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 da. Okay, uh, one more? Yeah, one more. And we have room now. Okay, so let's hop over here. Uh, why, do I, why do I say hop every time? Every time I want to do something in my inventory. Let's hop over to this space in our inventory. Okay, there we go. We're going to stick this one right there. Yes. And then we'll stick another one right here. Yes. And then a third. Oh, yes. There we go. So we can stick three right there. Because you guys, one of you told me that I need at least two of these per thruster. And we only have one per thruster. So adding six more should be almost enough for having two per thruster. But uh, but I think I think this will be fine. This is probably enough. And then you guys also said I'll need a bunch of oxygen tanks or oxygen generators. O2 slash H2 generators. I don't know where we'll put those. We could put those up here. Like, boom, 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 all in a line, kind of. I can imagine that. Uh, let's go over here and grab these and see what we can do with this. Uh, right, first of all, I want... Oops. I want one of these. Come on. Right here. We need interior plates. Okay, so let's go grab interior plates, and I'll be right back. We're going to grab the interior plates, and then we're also going to grab uh, the other thing that this needs. Construction components. Those are the main things that are needed for one of the... Actually, no, the small steel tubes are, aren't they? But interior plates first. See, this thing has already eaten up all of the uranium. That's crazy. You are crazy, but how much battery have you fulfilled? One bar. Okay, so that, eh, that's decent. So we're going to stick this right here, the conveyor, and we're not going to weld it yet. We're not going to worry about that. If I... Okay, no, you're supported over there. I was just wondering if I break that. Are you are you guys all going to fall? But no, they, they are adequately supported, so there's no need to worry. No need to worry, because I ain't in no hurry. Good song. And I, I hope those were the right lyrics. <laughs> That'd be embarrassing. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's go up first. Oh, because I've got a plan. I've got a mastermind plan in my mind. Oh, you guys are you guys are not ready for this plan. It's it's the most amazing plan since Space Engineers Alpha. That's that's the most amazing plan here. So what we're going to do is okay. Maybe it's not an amazing plan, but it's it'll be good. We're going to. Oh no, you're gonna ruin the skylight if I drag you through that man 
Oh, but I don't need to drag you. <clears throat> voice, voice is being weird. I don't need to drag you through there because you're already going through here. Yes. Okay. So I've got a. I've, I still got the amazing plan. So what we're going to do? <coughs> what we are going to do is first we're going to weld all this stuff. There we go. Uh, next we're going to bring this forward just a little bit, just a wee bit, just to get out of the range of this right here. Okay, we're going to do the same on the other side. We're out of stuff. So let's go get stuff. And then we'll do that and I'll be right back and, and it'll be awesome. I feel like I've hyped this plan up a little bit too much. Now you guys are going to see it and you're going to be like, that wasn't a great plan. I was thinking of that all along. But no, it's going to be awesome. It's the best plan ever. Boom. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to make a bunch of these right here. These things. Boom, boom, bam. Boom, bam, boom. Right? Because someone said that we need a bunch of these oxygen thingamajigs. So we are going to add a bunch of those and we're going to add an oxygen thing right on the front of each one of these. I know. Amazing, right? <laughs> the best plan in the world. I know you didn't see that coming. Actually, some of you probably were like, I was thinking of that the whole time. So we're going to boom, boom, boom. We're going to boom. We're going to put all these right here. There we go. So now we're going to have pretty much when you enter this room. And I was worried it's, it wasn't going to look cool, but I'm not worried anymore. When you enter this room, you'll see hydrogen plus a bunch of oxygen things right there. And it's going to look super awesome. It's also going to be the most dangerous room in the ship. If a missile comes in this room and destroys the hydrogen, it will be a chain reaction of explosions. Plus, there goes our power. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's a very dangerous room, but it's also a very necessary room. Let's say, let's put that there. So, oh no, hang on, hang on. Okay, the plan was great, but we do need to we do need to allow access so that we can ah uh, nope not fall through there so that we can fix these. Small steel tubes are what we need, and construction components it appears, and we're falling through there once again. <laughs> Small steel tubes and construction components are those yeah those are the only things that we're going to need, and then right here we're going to need also computers and large steel tubes. I'm just getting rid of a lot of my inventory stuff so that I can build up most of these. Okay. That's a lot of building. And typically what I like to do is I like to do building uh, off off camera because it's... What I like to do in the video is I like to place things so that you guys kind of know my thought process going into uh, what we're thinking about here. And also I can respond to, to you guys' comments during the video so I can like talk about what you guys were thinking about. But um, I don't like to really weld everything inside the video because it does take a long time to go and grab materials and weld and do that sort of thing. Um, I could use the welder ship. Oh! Sad face. <laughs> um... So off camera, there was a little mishap involving the welder ship, uh, and yeah. So what had happened was I was working on something related to this or something like that with, with Mr. Welder and it ran out of power or something. I don't know what happened. I forget. It ran out of power or something and it like fell and hit the ground and crashed. I think it hit the ground like right here or something, like a little dent. I don't know. <laughs> um, let's just say Mr. Welder is in a better place right now. Mr. Welder was lying on the ground right there, but I think when I saved the game and exited, Mr. Welder got deleted. So Mr. Welder's in a better place right now. Let's just say that. Let's, let's, let's keep it at that. We'll build another Mr. Welder. Don't worry. It'll be just like the old one. <laughs> oh God, I can't believe I killed Mr. Welder off camera. That's the worst thing to do when you're when you're off camera just plopping around and you accidentally kill a ship and you're like, oh no. Okay, let's grab all the stuff that we need. So we need we know we need construction components. So construction. We'll grab two hundred of those. And we know we need motors. Even though we have twenty one, but we'll grab a, a hundred more. And we know we need small steel tubes. Small and do we need anything else? Let's grab a little bit of steel plate. Uh, interior plates, I think we're fine on. And uh, a, a couple computers, I think. Maybe more than 10. Comp. Utor. Okay. Why do their engines look like they're firing? That's weird. Honestly, I think this room looks cooler now with all the crazy stuff. And jump the hole. Oh, yeah, there we go. We made it. I didn't think we'd make it. 
Okay, perfect. So now we have all of these hooked up. Dot, dot, dot. They're not actually hooked up, apparently. Let me just uh, make sure that they should be. Yeah, oh, there's nothing actually here. That's why. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, so we're going to weld all this stuff off camera eventually. But uh, but we won't do that right now. Hopefully next episode when you come back, there all this stuff will already be welded and it'll look cool and stuff. Uh, but for now, I think we're going to use this thumbnail right here. We're going to... We're gonna Pop in. Nope. Okay. Our camera's over there. Look at that. Look how cool that looks. Well, we'll do a thumbnail later. I don't, I don't need to show you guys thumbnail. So the next thing I want to do is I want to add a gravity generator. Now this is what's going to be useful for keeping the ship gravitized, I guess. So that when we're in space, we don't go, ah, uh, and float to the ceiling. We'll, we'll kind of stay on the ground and everything. So we're going to add a gravity generator. I kind of want to put it here, but I don't know how big it is. So let's uh, let's see. Let's pop into here, I think, and we'll press G. Go to gravity. Uh, we're going to look for... Uh, I, I kind of want to go for a spherical gravity generator, but I don't know how big these are. Oh, by the way, see that PCU at the bottom on the right side? That's that's new to the multiplayer update. It's essentially how much CPU cost does that have? <laughs> how much does it mess up the server, pretty much? Uh, but we're going to use the... I, I want to use spherical, but... No, I think we're just going to use Gravity Generator. Because Spherical would be good for a, a base or something. Or like an asteroid. You could have a Spherical Gravity Generator, and then you'd be always attracted to that asteroid. But we don't want to always be attracted to a center point. We want to be attracted to the bottom. The, the bottom of the ship, specifically. Oh, it's actually small, so we can stick it maybe even right here. Upside down, I'm thinking. Uh, but we do need steel plates. But we can stick it right there, and then, uh, yeah, and then, and then that'll be good. I wonder, do we stick it in the middle like this, or do we stick it off to the side? I think we stick it off to the side. Unless it has to be facing a certain direction, which I don't know if that's the case. If it has to be facing a certain direction, it's probably we have to stick it like this. But let's put it like this and see what we have to do. Uh, we need gravity generator components. That's something we'll have to make. Uh, but large steel tubes, computers, and construction components. For the gravity generator components, we're actually going to need gold, cobalt, and iron. I think we have all this stuff, so let's go ahead and try to make six. Did it make them all? I think it made them all. It just brought them into the other assemblers. So, yeah, that's good. But we also still need a couple more things. So let's go to... This is annoying. I don't like clicking this. Do you guys know a way to actually make it so this is always selected by default? Because I think maybe a setting has unset or something. Uh, but gravity. We got one there. We got six there. That's... They're heavy. Oh my god. They are really heavy. Okay, we can carry three, so let's carry three and, and uh, see how that does. I think three might be pretty good. Three. We need six, I believe, so we can carry half of what we need. Uh, we no longer need steel tubes, but we do still need computers and construction components. So I will keep that in mind when we head back. I only brought a couple computers. That's that's. I was planning to bring more, but the gravity things cost a lot of heaviness. Okay, pop over here. We don't need this stuff anymore quite yet. Let's grab more gravity. Gravity! We don't need four. Let's put one back. Because they are heavy. But uh, computers. Computer. We'll grab 87 computers. And we need construction components, which... Construction. We have a bunch of those as well. Awesome! And we'll have this gravity generator. My first time using a gravity generator, which is going to be really weird. How is it going to work on the planet? Is it going to, like, override the planet's gravity? Or, or is it going to crash the game? It could crash the game. You never know. Let's uh, hop into here. Right right here, we have this nice little control panel. And we'll see what this thing can do. Field width. Field height. Field depth. Acceleration. Okay. 9.8 is the max, which is uh, Earth's gravity. Okay, yeah, that's that's fine. Uh, I don't really know what any of this is. Oh, the width of the gravity field, okay. The height of the gravity field, okay. The depth of the gravity field, okay. And I don't know how far meters are in this game. Are these one by one, or are these like 10 by 10? I guess in meters. Technically, if these were meters, these would be like five meters or something. Because a person is usually like, isn't a person like two or three meters tall? I Maybe one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know metric very well. <laughs> but uh, we do now have a gravity generator, and I, it doesn't. It doesn't uh, provide gravity yet. But it will once we're in space, and that's all we really need it for. 
So we've got the gravity generator. Let me check that off. Engine hood, check. Uh, complete hydrogen connection, not yet. So we need to do that. The hydrogen connection is probably the next big thing that we need to do. Let's, so what I was saying before is it would be really ugly if I had to run a hydrogen kind of through the middle like this because then we'd see it and everything when we looked up in the skylight, which by the way, let me just say, that is a beautiful looking skylight. It would look even better if this stuff were all completed, but we'll do that once again off camera most likely. So you'll come back and you'll see all that completed. But uh, so we're not going to do that. We're not going to bring it out this way. What we're going to do is we're actually going to connect this side to that most likely. And then we'll do the same on this one right here, just so that we have two connections and everything is symmetrical because symmetry is nice, right? Everyone likes symmetry. So let's go, we'll, we'll go forward, forward, and then left, left and in. So I think that's, that's probably the, the uh, most painless uh, little approach there. So we'll go, come on, we'll go right, we're just going in reverse now. We'll go right, back, and then forward, forward. There we go. So now those will be connected. And let me let me just double check this connection here. That is then connected to all of this. And the line, the main line, which is this right here, is then connected. Oh, wait, we actually forgot this piece right here. <laughs> Didn't someone tell me that I needed to actually fix this a long time ago? I just forgot. We need small steel tubes for that. So that right there, the main line should be connected to uh, these. Are you actually connected to that? I think they are connected. Let me just, because I think you can actually see it from the top. So let me just go over there and make sure, because if they're not connected, then we've got a problem. Uh, if you got a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Yeah, they're connected. Awesome. And I guess they are on the other side as well. In fact, that's really weird. Why, why can I see your connection, but I cannot see your connection? That is troubling. Did I, is this asymmetric? I don't know. It could be. You're right there. Let me just verify this, because this is bothering me a little bit. Um, you are right here. Oh, you know what we did? I bet you... Yeah, I know what we did. Okay. So it's only connected to one of these... Wait. Is that... I'm thinking it's only connected to one of the crates. And the other crate's just not connected at all. And if that's the case, do we want to... Do want to change that? I can't really see above it. Can I? Yeah, so this crate right here is not currently connected. What do you guys think? Should we keep a not currently connected crate? Or should we connect up this crate as well, in addition to this crate? Uh, I think the original thought process for this was that we would have this crate, the connected one. So we'd throw all of our uh, ice, all of our uranium, all of that stuff would go in that crate, and then it would be connected to everything else. Whereas all of our building materials would go to this crate where it's not really needed for anything else. So I think that was our original thought process, but do we want to change that? That is the main question, I suppose. Um, but now the connection should be done. So this is all connected together. So all these oxygen generators uh, and hydrogen generators will work together and uh, that sort of thing. Next thing I want to do is I want to add some oxygen tanks. Mm, my voice, man. I want to add some oxygen tanks to... Typically what I do, by the way, is I, I try to not record early in the morning just because it, it like makes my voice all weird. But uh, sometimes I have to. Like today, for instance, I have to actually go some bit, somewhere later in the day. So I need to get this video out and uploaded and that sort of thing early in the morning so but um but yeah let's put some oxygen stuff down and then i think we'll call it an episode because like i said i do have things i have to do today unfortunately but uh but i think we can we can at least get a couple of things done and say we did something so where are our oxygen tanks pop over here g oxy okay so we've got oxygen tanks. We're, whoa, whoa. Okay, that's looking a little weird. There we go. That's much better. It was looking like the small ship one. Uh, but we do need an oxygen tank, and the reason we need this, it, it, the reason this is so important is because we need to be able to breathe. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to stack up some oxygen tanks right here, uh, put a couple of them right there like this. Can I still get by here? Yes, I can. Okay, that's fine. So we'll stick a couple of oxygen tanks right here, and what we're probably going to end up doing is sticking a vent on one of them or something actually do I want I don't really want it to be that close do I okay well here's one thing as well we're gonna have to connect this up to the line as well so we're gonna have to somehow get the line over to the oxygen tanks which uh, that I mean we'll, we'll, we'll figure out a logistics way to do that what we'll probably end up doing is we'll probably bring this one just kind of along the side here and then, because I, I don't think the oxygen tanks... Here's, here's what we'll do. Okay. 
Let's let's rearrange this a little bit. Let's grab the oxygen tanks once again. Where do I don't remember where we stuck them. Oh, number nine. We'll grab the oxygen tanks, flip them around this way, and stick them like this. One, two, three. And then we can actually have one of these come up and meet uh, one of those connections. And let's do the same thing on the other side, just so we have plenty of oxygen, because I know we're going to need it. Finally, let's run all the way in the back, and we'll stick a couple of emergency oxygen tanks somewhere. So maybe like down here or something. Uh, we'll do oxygen, oxygen, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side, just to, have, just to have some backup. Just in case something bad happens, we'll have these up there uh, to save our lives. Because we can't run out of oxygen, that's bad. Little oxygen tanks. Okay, so I think that should be enough oxygen tanks. Logistics guys in the comments, tell me if that's enough. If that's not, we have plenty of room to add more oxygen tanks. But I think it should be fine, so long as we connect everything up to the top. Um, and once again, we'll run this connection kind of over here. Uh, can we do that right now, actually? Let's see. I don't know if we have all the materials. Um, so what we want to do is we want to do something like this. Oh, I can't put it like that. Okay. We'll put it, we'll bring it like this. We'll just go straight. Yeah, that actually works kind of fine. So I, I'm fine with that. Okay, next thing we want to do is we want to bring it down like this. And then we're going to use the big piece right here to connect all these up. Which kind of blocks off access to that little thing right there, but I'm totally fine with that. It's not a big deal. Uh, finally, we want to kind of go up from here. And what we're going to do is we're going to meet this. And I, I know for, I know from experience that this is typically right there. That little, that little entrance. So let's do that. Uh, let's do this. And I don't think we have the pieces to actually weld this, uh, this specific piece. So we're not going to actually place this piece right here. But we know where it's going to go. And so we're going to do the same thing on the other side. That's kind of just a template for how that's going to work. And I think it's going to be good. The ship is definitely coming along at this point. We've got most of the life support systems in. That's This is the main life support system. You're, you have vents all along these as well. So that whenever you actually close up all of the airtight things, your your, your ship will oxygenate. It'll become more, uh, more breathable. Actually, it'll become breathable. At first, it won't be breathable. But... Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be good for this episode. We did a lot. Tell me what you want to see in the next episode in the comments. And uh, put, put your suggestions there and your comments and stuff there. And your, put your likes in the like button. <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting... I think I feel like I'm getting worse and worse at outros every single time. Let's do a redo. Put your suggestions in your comments in the comments section. Your like button, hit it. Nope, yep, I'm still bad at it. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys in episode number 21.